Hi everyone. I want to talk about letting go of your divine masculine and letting go of all control because that's really important on this journey. This journey, this twin flame journey that you're on is your awakening and controlling or trying to take action to get your divine masculine to come back is only going to backfire so it's really key that you focus on yourself and only on yourself and I know that I talk about this a lot uh, in my videos because this is the number one thing that is so important to do as the divine feminine is to bring the energy all back to yourself you don't have to worry about what your divine masculine is doing if they are not coming back to you in a very calm peaceful loving way without sexual expectations in the beginning that means that they are not ready to be with you and that is when you as the divine feminine should cut boundaries and detox the energy so letting go of doing anything to control your person and that means that it's important to set them free because if it's meant to be they will come back once your energy is calm and peaceful and in soul that is the space that your divine masculine can be with you they cannot I'm going to repeat this they cannot be with you when you are in mind they will always 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 pull away so the journey is divine feminine to be in soul to allow and to let things flow and that means to not control what your divine masculine he or she is doing pull your energy back focus on your highest version go after your dreams and your passion because what your outside creation is derives from what your inner self is so you are the creator of your life you manifest everything around you so once your energy is in soul you automatically attract your divine masculine back because this journey is a soul connection so they're absolutely have to come back when you are in soul because soul attracts soul so let go of control of things that you cannot change if your divine masculine is with someone else you cannot change that and what you can change is how you react to that and reacting is out of the mind so responding is being more in soul so really being conscientious of how you respond to your divine masculine if you are having that runner chaser and you can easily cut that runner chaser into full separation while you are working on yourself so if they are not coming back appropriately and not in a very peaceful state that means it's not time yet and that means you divine feminine should work on yourself a little deeper and come to soul and align more to soul so let go of any power issues and a phrase that someone in my workshop had said is that you go along for the ride that's right this is a ride that you take so it's kind of like being on a roller coaster ride and you can't stop the roller coaster when you feel like it right you have to go through the whole roller coaster right ups and downs and that is part of this journey to teach you lessons to come back to yourself to come back to love 
which is your organic state, is love. So it's coming home to yourself. This journey is all about you. This journey is not about your divine masculine. And I know there are many divine feminines out there that want it to be about your divine masculine. And if you are seeing them as separate, as this is a relationship, it's gonna keep you stuck on this journey. This isn't about a relationship with your divine masculine. This is about a relationship with yourself, with loving yourself to the deepest level and loving others unconditionally because everyone is a soul. So bring back your energy, start dwelling upon yourself only and your divine masculine will come back in when your energy is right, when your energy is balanced. So you don't have to fear that at all. So bring your energy back to you and focus only on you. So when you dwell on yourself, then you'll see how your world will change. And it is beautiful. It is a magical journey because it's a path that you don't always know what the answers are. It's the unknown path and that's the beautiful part is that when you trust your soul, beautiful things happen. So let go of control, let go of the mind because the mind and ego always tries to control actions and reactions. So let your divine masculine go free, <laughs> set them free. And if it's meant to be, they will come back. But meanwhile, it's for you to step into soul and go after everything that you've been wanting to do. That's what this journey is all about. So step into your highest version. And I promise the universe will match your energy. Once your energy is love and peace and, and joy, then your outside creation will resemble that as well. So yeah, take back your power, Divine Feminine, and use that energy all on you, all on your beautiful soul. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you need more help, I do have a website, in inthehiddenkingdom.com. So feel free to check out my website. Sending you all so much love.